Hey YouTubers, so in this example we are going to cover all things chamfers. Alright, so I've got a cube here that we previously worked on. We've got a hole in the middle and it's countersunk and now we want to put some chamfers on the outside edges. So I'm going to click on chamfer. Now obviously to create a chamfer you have to start with a uh, solid um, so you have to have built something. So this isn't the first feature that you can build. All right. So over here on the left, we have the different types of chamfers. Distance. Um, basically, let me go ahead and click on this. This edge so you can see. And then we need to rotate this guy. Okay. So with the distance one, you're going to put in a value. And basically, uh, from that edge down um, and across here, it's the same value, okay? Um, it's like saying 0.25 times 45 degrees. Uh, the next one is a angle um, with a distance, usually uh, D1 times an angle. So the first thing it asks for is the surface you're going to use. And then it wants to know the edge that you're going to use. So we're going to select that edge. And you see there is the dimension from it and basically the angle. Um, we could change the distance and the angle here if we wanted to. All right, last one is two distances. So it would appear from this example D1 is the vertical component and D2 is your horizontal. So you could adjust these if you wanted to. All right, we're going to go back to the first one. And I'm going to show you setback. So I'm going to select this edge, this edge, and this edge. And if you look at this, if you look at it, um, this is basically chopped off, right, like a triangle. If I select the other one, no setback, it comes out to a point. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to uh, chamfers. Thank you. Please like, please subscribe. All right, doll, you want to play again? Can you play another one? Yeah, I'll play you again. Really? And then we'll go to Home Depot?